What is up, MMA fans? This is tudoleonteforshore.com. And today I have the pleasure to talk with KSW heavyweight champion, Mr. Phil DeFries. Hello, Phil. Welcome back on Short Dog. Hello, How are you today? Thank you for having me. Thank you. Oh, great, great. <laughs> Thank you for giving us a little bit of your time today. How was your flight to Varsa? Oh, it was horrible. I get uh, I get seasick, you know. And then there was, uh, there was a storm. It was like turbulence. It was like being on the ocean. I was almost sick or oh, worst flight I've ever had. But I'm here now, so I can't complain. Oh, it was terrible turbulence. Yeah, yeah. actually, I, I was going to ask you, since I know that uh, a storm has hit uh, the United Kingdom, Eunice, uh, if I'm not wrong. Uh, how have you been dealing with this storm? Oh, I blew my, my playhouse, the kiddies playhouse. I blew it through my window, smashed one of my windows. Oh, nightmare. But some, some people's houses have blown down, so I can't complain. Some people have lost their full house and the power and things. It's quite bad, but I lost a couple of windows and that's it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to, to hear that. And, you know, luckily right now you are in Poland. Everything should be fine. Yeah, all good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw that you brought your PS4 with you, or that you buy <laughs> bought one there. Are, are you a gamer? Yeah, I'll be bored without it. I've got Horizon. I bought, I bought a television as well. Sometimes there's hotel <laughs> television. There's no HDMI, so I bought a television but I don't need it. But yeah, I'd, uh, I've got the rise and so it'll pass the time. I, I don't I don't even have my corner here. I, I, I'm very, uh, on fight week, I, I kind of lock myself in my room and kind of like just kind of brood about in the dark. <laughs> so I've got my PlayStation. <laughs> uh, who is going to be in your corner? Uh, Andrew Fisher, he's just uh, announced a fight on Bellator. He's my head coach. And uh, the other heavyweight in my gym, Michael Park, and who's 5-0 and now, he's with definite prospects for the future, you know? Mm, okay. And what are you going to play, you know, while you are waiting for them? Oh, I've got the new Horizon. I've been excited for it. I've saved it. It came out on Friday, so I ordered it. So I've got Horizon. So I've just started it there. So the, the, the thing, the thing is, the record is fantastic. So that'll have to pass some time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I, I guess it's it will be, you know, it's pretty entertaining. Um, you are now scheduled to take on Darko Stosic in the main event of KSW 67 on February the 26th. Um, where have you been preparing for this fight? Uh, I've, I've, I've stayed at my home camp now. I used to go to top team, but uh, I'm not vaccinated, so I couldn't. I can't get to Florida anymore. And uh, I, 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 I stayed here for the last camp, and I had such a great camp against Narcon. So I do. I've got, I've got Mick at my gym. We've got Paul Craig comes down, and I spend a bit of time with Cal Bomb with Tom Aspinall, who's, who's just fantastic. He's going to be champion one day without a doubt, you know. So I've had a, 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 a hard training camp. You know, I couldn't have done anything extra. Um, so you told me that you have been training with uh, Tom Espinal. Uh, how, how do you see his fight? You know, he's headlining the upcoming UFC event in, in London. He's taken on uh, Alexander Volkov. Uh, how do you see his fight going down? Uh, honestly, I've never, in all my travels, I've never met a, a fighter like him before in my life, and I've been all over. He's uh, he's going to be champion one day. Uh, but anything can happen with heavyweight. You can't take anything for granted, and Volkov's a killer, but. Tom's best for the top, you know, without a doubt. Once your fight is done, uh, are you going to return and train with him again, or uh, that's it for for you? If he needs me, I'll be there, you know. But I'm I am absolutely nothing like Volkov. I'm a press forward wrestler. That's what I want to do. And like he's like uh, Volkov is like a seven foot tall kicking like a kickbox you know but if he needs me he he, he really helped me out with that dark on the fight he did lots of rounds with this so if he needs me i'm there you know but we'll see if he asks i'll, I'll go you know and um, what do you expect from your next opponent well, Darko was a fantastic fight you know he's a uh, very explosive good time in boxing you know but uh I think I'm going to be far too big for him. I'm 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 putting weight to get the heavyweight at the moment. So I want to I want to I think I'll be at least 15 kilograms bigger than him. And I'm the grappler, so if I get a hold of him, it's gonna really uh tire him out a bit, you know. But uh, he is good, but I think I'm better and I think I'm bigger, you know. So I think I'll definitely win. With uh, your past opponent with Tomas Narkun, it seemed that there was a little bit of bad blood between the two of you, uh, or at least especially 
co coming from you, some hostilities com coming from him. Um, is, is there the same situation with uh, Stosic? No, me, uh, me and uh, Stosic could be kind of like having a little bit of fun, put some stupid memes on, but it's all respect. Uh, Narco, and that's how he likes to play, you know, he likes to kind of be like Conor McGregory sort of thing, you know, that's how he likes to play. And if he wants to do that, I'm, I can go either way. But uh, Dark, Dark always been fine. Some of his fans are quite toxic now. I've been getting some horrible messages off some of the, some of his fans, but a lot of them are, are decent as well. They said like, "Oh, we want Dark out to win," but uh, respect to you. But some of them are quite out and out horrible, you know. <laughs> I, I can guess that. I mean, for, especially for you fighters, you know, <laughs> when you have to fight with someone else, it can be tough sometimes from the fans. Yeah, I mean, when I, when I first experienced it and when I first got the UFC and I was in the forums and people calling me names saying I was going to get beat and stuff and I was like, oh my God, this is like the first time I experienced them, you know, but like now, the, the sad and lonely people, you know, I was laughing off, you know. Now that you mentioned your UFC experience, uh, you have been very vocal about mental health uh, topics recently. Uh, and now you mentioned people right now you just mentioned people calling you names uh you also mentioned sometimes anxiety um in many interviews you said that those issues kind of were hindrances to in your ufc path um what can you tell us about that Oh, not not in my career it ruined my entire life you know I, my life was hell i was I mean, I, I, you can't really say it now, but I, I was crazy. I was insane. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't operate as a person. You know, I was like, oh. but for what? When I, I used to do this crazy stuff. I got, I got on the head. Someone was going to steal my dog, so I put a camera in my bedroom so I could look at my dog on my phone when I was out. And uh, I would be, I would have to check, check if I locked the front door like hundreds of times. So I was so worried about people going to my house and like so when I was fighting somebody, I would like, like oh, what if he talks to my hand? What am I going to do? And I would worry about what, 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 what this guy's going to do so much that I couldn't fight, you know? So look, it, it, my life, the fight was horrible and my life was hell. But I didn't, I didn't know I had anything wrong with this because I got raised with it, you know? So when, when I beat this anxiety, it was like, it was like just a, you, you watch a few for me. I was like, oh my God, like normal life. It's amazing without this anxiety, you know. So it uh, it ruined a lot of my life, you know. It's quite sad, but I'm extremely happy now. So whatever path that it took me on, it's ended up being a nice place, you know. How did you manage to find that balance, you know, in 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 your life as a human being, as a professional fighter? Uh, well, like, l luckily now the fighting pays the bills, so I don't have to work, you know, and uh, I'm like a kind of stay-at-home dad to the girls, so to my two young daughters, so uh, it works perfectly, you know, so I look after the girls during the day, then my fiance comes home and looks after them, and I go to the gym, and then... Uh, Oh, it's uh, it's great, you know. I love that. I love being a fighter now. But it was the hell with the anxiety before, but I, it's like a dream job now. I mean, well, what it's, it's pretty cool, you know. When you be when you were a kid, this one said you're gonna be a fighter. You'd think that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, um, wh when did you stop worrying so much? You know, uh, in was there a precise moment or a precise fight where did you feel that you had to live? Uh, or at least to try to 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 put the anxiety a little bit aside, or to, to overcome this this pressure coming from well, uh, fighting. I got, when I was out the UFC, I went back on the local scene and I had a bad loss in the local scene to kind of somebody I, I didn't think I should have got beat off. And I kind of hit alcoholism and I smoked loads of weed and I did loads of drugs all the time. And like for about a year, I was just drinking solid. I got fat and that, that really spiraled the mental health problems even worse, you know. And uh, like I said, I was installing the canvas to see if the dog was there. I was checking. I was having to go home. I was like, I was, I was at work and I was going... Someone's stealing my dog. Someone's stealing my dog. I was like, I have to go home and check my dog there. Then uh, obviously checking the doors and there's a time getting down the street and thinking I've left the gas on and I'm going to go in and check it. Uh, and uh, I, I thought, this is not normal. This is not, like, I was like, but I didn't even, like, I didn't even give anxiety a, a bit of thought, you know? I, like, I didn't really, like, research mental health. So like, I Googled um, the rational fear of everything and I said, oh, anxiety. So I went to the doctor and I got anxiety. She put me on these pills. And I was so lucky these pills just to fix me. It takes three months for them to work. 
and they fixed me, you know. But I've rec- I've recommended it. Everyone, I speak to a lot of people messaging me all the time about how did you beat anxiety, and I've told them all about these pills, and they've went on the pills and it hasn't worked for them. So I'm so uh, I did a bit of therapy too, but I was so so lucky that these these pills were like like magic pills to me, you know. Well, luckily, right now you seem to be in a far more <laughs> better uh, place. Uh, you are now riding an impressive eight boat winning streak. If you win the upcoming fight, you will also score your sixth title defense in KSW, which is, I believe, the all time record. Um, and you will also have practically, uh, practically cleaned up the division. Uh, what should be next next for you in case you win? Oh. Um, but I'll look at me. I want to. I want to be quite active now. So it could be a rematch for the other guys. They could bring somebody else in. Maybe, maybe put an But um, that's what they, they can think of that. that. My job is to fight. It's their job to think. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, uh, you have a, you have a point here. Um, how is it for you to always fight away from home? Oh, I, I don't mind where I am. You know, I, I quite like to travel. You know. The, Obviously, COVID's been a real spanner in the works. Uh, KSW are planning to expand. I think they've got to go to Germany. Uh, the Dutch shows in Ireland. So I've never been to Ireland or Germany. I, I, I want to I want to go everywhere, you know. So, but uh, home shows are great. Away is great. I love them all, you know. I, 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 love the, I love the fight week. I love the fight now. It's great. Is there, uh, are there any plans to bring KSW back to England? Well, they were going to do a London show. Well, a UK show. So they did two London shows every year pre pre COVID, and now um, isolations uh, restrictions are being lifted in England. We could maybe see them there this November, or that's what they were going to do about November October time. I mean, I, I, I'm totally speculating, but that that would be wonderful for me. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, and I, I can guess that. Um, hey, have you ever felt uh, that you were the the outlander? some way you know especially you being uh, an englishman coming to to poland defeating all, all the polish guys uh, have you ever felt you know especially from the polish fight uh, fans uh, at the first when, when i beat uh, andrzej the arena was uh, deadly silent i thought Oh God! I was, I was so, I, I was so worried about that fight, and I won, and I was like, "Oh my God, I've won!" I was so, I was watching Rocky in the change room. I was so worried. I was like, "Oh my God, let's watch Rocky. That'll, that'll get me carried up." <laughs> and uh, I was like, "Oh, it was quiet, you know." But uh, they've embraced me a bit more now. Uh, they, they, they really. I mean, I, I've got no ill feeling towards Narcon, but the, the fan base really don't like him very much, you know. So when I beat him. I kind of won a few fans, you know, and uh, I think they're quite like me. I'm quite respectful. I'm funny, you know. Uh, uh, I'm just a swell guy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> your your relationship with the Polish fans is better right now, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I love the I love the, Pol- the Polish fans are fantastic, you know. The, I mean, the best fans in the world are Japanese fans, and I'll put the Polish fans up right there with them. You know, they're dedicated. They. Uh, they care a lot, you know, they interact a lot with you. Uh, they kind of are very much more interested in the scene. Like uh, English fans are kind of, I mean, I'm more, I've probably got more fans in Poland than I am in England, you know, so <laughs> there's a great fan base out here. Um, yeah, I, I can guess that's it's kind of bizarre, but it is what it is. You know, you're competing mostly in Poland, uh, yeah. you will earn my Polish uh, fans. Um, so, Phil, it was a great chat with you today. Before I let you go, do we have any last message that you would like to share with us today? Uh, just come watch me on Saturday. You know, the, the show's going to be fantastic and I'm going to get the win and I'm going to get the knockout and it's going to be great. And uh, I might even do a shoey if I can find a shoe. <laughs> oh, that's so nice to hear. So, <laughs> best of luck with your upcoming fight. Thank you again for giving us your a little bit of your time today. And hopefully I'll hear again from you in the future. Thanks a lot, Tudor. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.